Hey guys, Miles here at Tactical Hive, just finishing up at the range. We get a lot of questions about tactical style holsters. And if you're just beginning and getting into tactical training and you wanna know what a lot of us use, this video is for you. So when I say tactical style holster, I'm referring to something that you'll see here where it is outside the waistband. It is a lot more rugged. It generally is not tight against your body. It's not a concealed carry holster. You want this, it could, usually you'll have low rise, mid ride, high ride. And there are features of a tactical style holster that regular holsters might not have. For example, retention or locking mechanisms. And there are different levels of locking mechanisms. For example, this one doesn't have it, but there could be a hood and a lot of law enforcement has this. There's a hood covering the gun, right? So it'll be attached to this holster covering the gun. So if someone tries to pull the gun out without releasing that hood, it's not going to come out. Then there are other retention systems or retention features. For example, this has a little button here where you have to press it with your thumb when you're drawing your gun in order to release the firearm. Without that, the firearm is stuck. Okay, so you need to press on that retention button. Tactical style holsters also provide you with the option of using these different attachments on the holster itself, as well as your belt. So you can quickly detach and attach different holsters for different types of firearms to your belt so that you don't have to constantly switch belts. Tactical style holsters also will give you the option and different attachments where you can add drop leg, kind of this attachment over here, and there's different use cases for it. I personally just use this because whenever I don't, this actually, when I have a draw and sometimes it's locked, this holster, or even when I'm bagging into different objects, I feel my holster flying off. So I like this, the added security of this strap to keep it in place. But in regards to the brand, a lot of people ask this, what type of holster am I using? One of the most popular brands for any kind of tactical style holster is Safari Land. Safari Land is known in the industry. They're used widely by military LE across the world, not just in the US. So this is a brand that you can't go wrong with. Yes, there's a lot of great brands out there beyond Safari Land, but a lot, we get a lot of questions about the holsters that we're actually using in videos. And this is it. This is a Safari Land holster. Now, a lot of people also ask the specific models that we're using. Now, here's the thing. Safari Land has tons of different models. It'll be based on if you have a weapon light, a, a red dot, so on and so forth. So the best thing you can do, if you're getting into the world of tactical training and you're looking for a holster like this, best thing you can do, I'm leaving a link below that will take you to Safari Land's holster finder. So you can put in the combination of the firearm you're using, if you're using a weapon mounted light, uh, so on and so forth, red dot, and it's gonna provide you with all the options for your specific combination of firearm, light, red dot, so on and so forth then you'll have it all there. You'll have all the different holsters, the different finishes, so you can read up all that. Rather than me talk about every little thing, you can just go to that link below in the description and it'll save us a lot of time and you can just read everything you want to. I've never had any problems with my tactical style holsters. As I mentioned earlier, they're generally a lot more durable. Uh, they last long. They can take a bit, you know, a really big beating and still function properly. Uh, when it comes to Safari Land as a whole, I haven't had any problems with uh, any of the products. Like I'm, I'm talking about even attachment, things like that. So they're a reputable brand. Of course, try other brands out there. And when it comes to holsters, remember we created a holster guide, a practical guide to holsters. When it comes to holsters, the ultimate test is you have to try it out for yourself. Uh, but when it comes to vert style tactile style holsters when it comes to fitting your body we don't have to worry so much about that per se because it's always just kind of here hanging on the side by the hip and it's not concealed so our body type doesn't really matter that much but still try it out but i, I do think you'll be glad with safari land Two other brands that come to mind that you might want to look into are blackhawk some of our cadre like to use blackhawk holsters as well they're tactile style and new is uh, Alien Gear. They came out with a new type of tackle style holster. I don't know too much about it, but there is some buzz, so you might want to look into that. But as I mentioned, lots of different brands out there, um, but go with a reputable brand and you shouldn't have any issues. So if you're one of the viewers who've been wondering what tackle style holster a lot of us use at Tackle Hive, it's this right here, Safari Land, and the model of the holsters that we use, it really just depends on the combination of your firearm, the weapon monolite that you're using if you are have if you do have a weapon monolite and the red dot that you're using. So just use the holster finder below and that'll tell you exactly the model that you need. As always, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And also for those of you who have subscribed and let us know that you don't always get notifications, YouTube is funny the way it works. So make sure you 
turn notifications on, hit that bell icon so that with every video, we release a video every single day, you'll be notified when that comes out. See you guys next time.